It has been a great pleasure to watch my Julia grow up. And I can remember like it was yesterday, uh, the day she was born. We look upon their union as something that's filled with great promise. We love you more than words can say. On their very first date, at the public museum, young love was their fate. He loved her great smile and eyes of clear blue. She loved his kind heart and honesty, too. It was two days after Christmas in year 2015 when these two became wedded. Such a beautiful scene. this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. Do you promise to be a loving and faithful partner, to be none other than yourselves, to cherish and delight in your spirit and individuality, to face life's challenges with patience and humor, to respect your differences and to nurture your growth. We do. Give and receive these rings as a pledge that you will keep this covenant and honor these vows. We do. Thank you, God, for your presence here with us and your blessing upon this marriage. Amen. And now it is my very great pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Mike and Julia Larson. We want to thank you all for coming. We know this is a busy time of the year, but feel free to eat our food and drink our liquor and enjoy the evening in the spirit of the season. I have watched Julia change and grow and mature and become this really strong and smart woman. And now everything she gets is from hard work and perseverance. Congratulations, Mike and Julia. And now that they're married, friends and family abound, I'm sure little Larson's will soon be around.
whenever he had long weeks on the road, I would always drive across town to his apartment once or twice a week to feed his fish. And this is about the time that I started to suspect something was up. The floors were always immaculate and the bed was always made. And previously, Mike's idea of good housekeeping was leaving a dead mouse behind the microwave as the warning to the other mice to stay away from his hot pockets. It takes courage, I think, nowadays to get married. And we're so proud of the strong person that Julia has become. She is truly as beautiful on the inside as she is on the outside. And Mike, I really can't thank you enough for making her so happy. So Julia, welcome to the family. I wish you two many long years of love and happiness. It has been, and it is, and it will be forever, a great honor be your father. We actually met in Tosa. It was over at Firefly. Um, our mutual friends were having a, I think it was a Halloween party, right? Yeah. Yeah. We actually didn't talk that much that night, but then we ended up uh, having our kind of official first date on New Year's Eve. Um, he invited me out to a, a date and we went to the Milwaukee Art Museum, which was really cool. And then we went back to Firefly for New Year's Eve and that was like the beginning. I remember texting my girlfriends being like, he's so nice. Like, this is the type of guy I know I want to be with. We went to the rumpus room for a rehearsal dinner. We went home pretty early by nine. We actually practiced our first dance. It felt really natural from the start. Like we've always had a really good chemistry of being able to hang out together and have a fun time. We just have a lot of fun together. I think that's one of the best things about our relationship. There's no pressure to be somebody that I'm not. We always have a good time together, it's really nice. We're just super excited for, you know, the big day today. It's, it's so much fun to have everybody together. Love you. <laughs> Love you too.
forward to the adventure that is the future. I know that we're going to be awesome together and I really can't wait. I know that um, whatever happens, we're doing it together.